Okay, today we're going to talk about the touchscreen. And uh, I start off my program by using X screen, which uh, I'm basically telling it, you know, how many uh, sprites and background tiles that I'm going to use and what screen mode I'm going to use. And I don't really understand it. Like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the the instructions on how to use it and the numbers don't correlate with what I used at all. Because whenever I had the Japanese version, I just kind of tried stuff out until something worked. And unfortunately, I just I still don't understand it. But um, visible and display are, are just as easy. Uh, display, what I've basically done is I've set display to 1, which means I'm working with the touch screen now. So now everything that's going on in the program from there correlates to the touch screen. Which, you know, I, that is just way easier to understand than next screen. But, anyways, moving down past me just setting everything up. Clouds and all that. Okay, here's my loop. Basically, what you want to use is you want to use the touch command. And here, the first variable is touch state, which is going to return one. Um if, you know, whenever you're touching the touch screen, and then zero if you're not. And then it has the X and Y coordinates um, of the point that you're touching. And so here in my program, I've, of course, you know, made it to where it'll print the X and Y positions and a uh, score that doesn't really matter. But I have if, uh, if touch state is greater than zero, that means if the touch screen is touched, then go sub at fire. And here, oh, I already see a problem with this program. See, some of the um, some of the SP set, the very last parameter changed up on me in one of the updates. So a lot of my programs, just this one part of it is going to be wrong. But I believe that will fix it. But anyways, let me get done explaining this before I check on that and see if that fixed it. Um... Actually, I think I'm done. Yeah, that's the. That's whenever I go go to at fire, basically just wherever the touch, where wherever you touched it, it'll set up a little fireball, and then it'll animate it, and then it'll add one to score. So it just kind of makes it look like you're gaining score while you're burning the city. Let me switch over to my my bottom screen view real quick. Okay, there we go. And as you can see, well, that fire's sideways. But anyway, you know what? Let's. I'm gonna take the time out of this tutorial to figure that out right now. Let's see. I believe this just different numbers rotate this now. Before it had to be like some sort of weird. By an, oh, that doesn't even work at all. Well, that's interesting. Let's try four. Yeah. <laughs> See, that I just don't understand how some of these parameters work, like, at all. See, there's the fire, and if I put it back in, like, I, I believe I had a binary number. That's how I used to get it to work before, but now, oh, shoot, that doesn't work either. All right, honestly, I have no idea how that, that last parameter works at all, which I'm sure that instills a whole lot of confidence in you guys that are learning from me. But in my defense, you know, if this app was really easy to figure out, you guys would have a pretty good idea of how to use it, and you wouldn't need me. Speaking of if you need me, uh, I've got a message board now because I, I can't keep up with all the comments on YouTube. There's just there's too many of them. YouTube isn't telling me whenever you guys comment, so a lot of them are going unnoticed. So you go to petiteprofessor.proboards.com, and that's for my message board. And you can always get there from my website, uh, petiteprofessor.angelfire.com. Um, 